this uh, presser yes I'm still waiting for the event effect to see it and then the other one would be on the status of the mediation that we know an 18 member committee was set up recently to with regards to the Kitabon ready for the council thank you from what we know we note with great concern the delays by the control of budget to approve requisitions for the withdrawal of funds this is unacceptable for an institution that's supposed to be facilitating. We call upon the control of budget to stop being a bottleneck to this process and ensure counties access their funds in a timely manner. Counties are receiving 50% of the equitable share based on fiscal year 2023-24's allocation. That's previous year's allocation. This is just a stopgap measure that the Council of Governors sought to ensure continuity of operations in counties due to lack of, an allo of a county allocation and revenue act. The National Treasury, even on the basis of this arrangement, is yet to disburse 63.6 billion for October 
and November 2024 allocations. However, by December 2024, the 50% will have been exhausted, which means county governments will not receive any disbursements from January 2025. If, if, if the process um, results in a um, in um, lack of um, mediated position mm. to move the budgeting process forward, how are we expected to continue spending money um, when we don't know how much we should spend? Mm -hmm. Counties now don't know uh, what to commit, what not to commit. Mm. They don't know uh, whether to do supplementary budgets or not. Mm. And we're saying, is it fair that life moves on for national government because they went ahead and did a supplementary appropriation based on a dollar that has not been amended yet, right? We cannot do the same unless we have a cara that has been assented to. I think these are some of the things that we need to look at, um, even going forward, so that this kind of stalemate does not hold the country to a grind. And um, to the best of our knowledge, a date of return back to the negotiations has not been announced. Um, we are well into the 30-day available under the law for this access to be completed. And um, within that um, 30 days, um, mediation ought to be completed. Else we will be in a serious crisis because we'll have a DORA that's not supported by, by ACARA and uh, um, the both, both houses of, uh, of parliament will need a two-third majority to overturn the presidential memo that returned that car, mm. um, which we don't see happening. There's also um, a, another imminent problem in um, that the um, houses are likely to go on recess, and from what we gather, um, according to the calendar, are unlikely to come back before February of next year. Mm. And you know, our fiscal year ends in, in June. So there ought to be sufficient time between when this uh, budgeting process is finalized, consummated, uh, and um, um, the fiscal year end to allow us to implement the budget. We note that as of May 2024, the total outstanding debts owed to county governments by the defunct National Hospital Insurance Fund, NHIF, was Kenya shillings 12.9 billion. So far, only Kenya shillings 3.8 billion of this has been remitted and counties are currently still owed 9.1 billion. We call upon the Shah to expedite the payment of pending claims under the NHF and Shah. This will allow for timely payment of our vendors as well as effective service provision for the patients. For the SHA registration to succeed, first of all, we need to pay the CHPs. How do you pay when there's no money? We also need to pay the people who are in charge of our facilities. Some counties here are yet to pay salaries for the last three months as a result of the delay in disbursement. In many of these counties, we need to get to where the masses are to have them registered. We have governors here who manage counties that are over 50,000 square kilometers. So the question of logistics, the question of fuel, all, the, all these things come into play. Ni mpango ambao unatugarimu pesa nyingi sana kwa sababu tunalipa uh, fedha ambazo tunazo zichukua, tunalipa pamoja na interest kubwa. Na kwa hivyo, hatuna uhakika hasa ata kama hizi pesa zitaendelea kuja. Kwa hivyo itakuwa ni vigumu sana kwa serikali za county kuchukua mpango ule. Na ndipo mwenyekiti akasema kwamba tukifika pale na kukwambe katika haya ma mazungumzo itatubidi tu kufunga na kuwaomba wafanyikazi wetu wende nyumbani wakajitetea kule mbele. How can we be able to pay Kemsa if we are still old 9 billion by the de facto NHIF authority? Because if you look at what is old to Kemsa by counties put together, uh, it is a meager 3.8 billion as compared to 7, for 9.1 that is old by NHF. In fact, we are at a point where we are saying, why don't you just uh, cash off, you know, offset that money of the resort to Kemsa. NHF should pay Kemsa so that we can continue collection drugs 
and pay us the balance. It will be easier for us. Mm -hmm. But all the time, it is blamed on counties. We have not paid in, we have not paid CAMSA. We are not having drugs in the facilities. Well, in actual sense, it is the effort of all those other agencies uh, to frustrate counties that have, have contributed to this. That is uh, our position. There was a requirement by facilities that are owned by both the public and the private to be licensed and registered. All the public facilities and the private facilities that are registered and licensed were a total of 48,000. 48, but to date, the number of facilities that are operationalized by SHA is only 7,800, which is hardly 10%. Mm -hmm. So what about the other facilities that are ready for SHA and SHA has not rolled out? When patients go to those facilities, definitely, they will not be able to access that because it is not available. And therefore, we have to pull up our socks both on the side of uh, SHA itself and the public to make sure they register themselves. Only then will the system start working 100% and you stop having this uh, issue of SHA is not working. It's not working because all of us have a role to play, which we have not played uh, for that matter. Out of the population of, of almost 60 million Kenyans, only 14,000 are registered. 14 14, only 14 million out of the 60 million only 14 million are registered of this 14 million 14 million 800 6 no 8. Um, 8.5 are new 6.2 are the ones that were moved from NHF to SHA practically it means that only 8 million Kenyans have taken the, the responsibility to register themselves to be known so that it can be treated using SHA in the, in the facilities. What is the problem? The problem could be both attitude by the people themselves. It could be the message that is coming from us, the public, when we call all the time talk about SHA is not working and therefore people don't feel the urge to register themselves. And we are asking every, all the stakeholders to please urge and help all the Kenyans register themselves. It's the only way you can be able to go to a hospital and be claimed without paying and because the facility will claim later from the SHA. If you're not registered, that is where we have that element of facilities asking you to pay for you to pay in cash because you're not in the system. 